my mother. My mother loved my father, but she hated her neck. She thought it was, uh, it's too, too fleshy or something. I. hated my neck, I'd, I'd have it removed, but she never trusted doctors, so she wore turtlenecks all the time. In every picture we have of her, she's wearing a turtleneck. In every color of the rainbow. She had black ones and white ones and gray ones and polka dot ones and plaid ones and Mickey Mouse. She even had this uh, mesh turtleneck that she would wear. You can't picture her without a turtleneck on. Even though, according to Freud, I'd, I'd like to. I try every day. We have this photograph. This photograph of me whenever I was a baby, wearing wearing one of my mother's turtlenecks. Swimming in one of my mother's turtlenecks is more like it. Bald head and a big shirt. It's, uh, it's a rare photograph. I'm smiling. I didn't smile all that much during my childhood. I'm taking lessons now. I'm trying to learn again, but it takes time. I Stop smiling when my mother stopped wearing turtlenecks. I came home from school on a typical day in the second grade. Find her taking a bath in her own blood. Her turtleneck she left on top of the counter so it wouldn't come between her neck and the knife. I understood then why she had worn the turtlenecks all along. To stop already there. It was there all along. We tried to cover the wound when they buried her. just an empty hole by them. My mother wasn't hiding inside. I remember she wrote a note before she died asking to be cremated. And I remember asking my father why they buried her instead. He 
he said that my mother was like was like she was two different people and that the one that he loved she would have been afraid of the flames. this photograph of me inside my mother's shirt. All the time. <clears throat> it's the, uh, the closest I can get to security. There are no pictures of me in my mother's womb. Yes, her turtleneck is enough.